What's up, everybody? Welcome to a new English bit. I'm Katia. In today's lesson, we're going to look at 10 post friends. If you are a Spanish speaker, look out for these confusing words. Are you ready? If so, let's dive in. Before we start, just to remind you that post friends are English words that look very similar to words in Spanish, but have a very different meaning. So let me introduce to you the first false friend, which is comprehensive. Comprehensive. In English, it doesn't mean easy to understand, but it means complete or full. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, the information you collected is fully comprehensive. And one more example, I went for comprehensive insurance. And now let's move on to our second false friend, which is an adjective, disagreeable. Disagreeable. In English, it doesn't mean someone who disagrees with you, but it means an unpleasant person, not nice. And now two examples. The first one, I didn't get on well with her because I found her disagreeable. And one more example, although it was a disagreeable experience, I learned a lot from it. Our third false friend is industrious. Industrious, level C2. Be careful, because it doesn't mean industrial, it's not a synonym, but it's someone who is very busy and works very hard. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, he's an extremely industrious entrepreneur. And one more example, I admire how industrious she is. Let's continue our false friend Number four is sane. Sane. In English, it doesn't mean healthy, but having a healthy mind and not mentally ill. And it's a synonym of sound. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, meditation keeps me sane. Guys, if you want to take up meditating, I can recommend the app I use it's called Headspace, it's great, and there is also a very interesting documentary on Netflix. Check it out. And one more example, no sane person would be drinking and smoking while training for a marathon. Number five, incidentally. Incidentally. It's a C1 adverb that doesn't mean by accident, but it means by the way. And now a few examples. The first one, incidentally, do you know why she blew up? To blow up means to become suddenly angry. And one more example, incidentally, have you heard the news? Incidentally, one of my previous videos is on 10 C1 and C2 adverbs, and one of them is incidentally. And it has one more meaning. If you want to know its second meaning, click on the card at the top of the screen. And guys, before we continue and learn five more false friends, just a super quick reminder, please make sure you subscribe to English Bits and your bell icon is on. There is a weekly lesson waiting for you. It's on Sundays at 12 p.m. Thank you. And now let's continue. We're going to look at three nouns. Number six, casualty. Casualty. In English, it doesn't mean a coincidence or by chance. It means a person killed or injured in a serious accident or war. And now, 
a few examples. The first one, luckily, there were no casualties in the train wreck. And one more example, road casualties have decreased thanks to a new road safety campaign. Number seven, idiom. Idiom. In English, it doesn't mean a language, but it means a group of words whose meaning is different from the meanings of individual words. And now, a few examples. The first one, I love learning and teaching idioms. True story. And now I'd like to teach you a super romantic idiom to only have eyes for someone. It means to only be attracted and interested in one person. For example, I only have eyes for you. Number eight, preservative. Preservative. Be careful because in English it doesn't mean a condom, but it's a chemical used to stop food from decaying. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, I make sure to buy healthy food with no added preservatives. And one more example, the company only uses natural preservatives to make their energy bars. Tomorrow to go, we're going to look at two expressions. Number nine, out of character. Out of character. In English, it doesn't mean to become angry or to lose control. Out of character means not typical of a person's character and very different from the usual way that someone behaves. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, it's out of character for him to disappear just like that. And the opposite of out of character is in character, which means typical of a person's character. Let's put it into an example sentence. It's entirely in character for Carol to be generous. And last but not least, second to none. Second to none. In English, it doesn't mean second best, but it means better than all others of the same kind. And now let's look at two examples. The first one, your new song is second to none. And the last example, his perks are second to none. Perks is something you receive apart from your salary. For example, health insurance or retirement plans or maybe employee discounts. So guys, that's it for today. Thank you for having watched this lesson up to the very end. This is the fourth edition with false friends. If you haven't seen the previous ones, you can check them out right here. And of course, if you learned something new and enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give it a huge thumbs up, to subscribe to my channel and catch me on Instagram for more daily English. With that being said, thanks for watching and see you next week. Ciao for now!